What is going on everybody, it's your boy Nathan Muskills, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to improve the load times on any console. Now, this installation will be specifically for a PS4 Pro and a PS4 Slim. Now, if you have a regular PS4, if you have an Xbox, you're gonna to need to find the installation for that. But I'll be showing you examples of load times prior to the installation and then after the installation, so that way you can decide if this is an upgrade you guys wanna do. So you're gonna need two things to do this. You're gonna need an SSD and you're gonna need a USB for the installation. So let's get into this video. But before we dive into how to install the SSD on the PS4 Pro, let me show you an example of a typical load time on the PS4 Pro, which is supposed to be the best PS4 on the market right now. It's supposed to be faster than the PS4 Slim and the regular PS4. Now, these typical load times are usually what you see on console. Now, I've noticed this on multiple games, not just the division. I play multiple games and I also play games on PC and the load times are completely insanely fast on PC than on PS4. And I've talked to friends who have SSDs installed on their PS4 Pros and they say, man, the load time is 100% better once you do the installation. So I just wanted to show you a typical load time. Look, I had this whole conversation with you and it is still loading. So what we're going to do is we're going to install that SSD and then we're going to show you how fast now the load times are so this is the before let's install it and let's see what the load times are now on the ps4 pro so let's take a look at the newly installed ssd load time right so we just installed the ssd and let's see how fast it is to fast travel so that would be loading a whole new map let's check out this load time look at that you see how quick that loading time is we're about to load in and it hasn't even been what 10 seconds compared to before, it was almost a minute. Just to show you the big difference, I fast traveled to the White House on the top left hand corner. That's the regular PlayStation 4 Pro. Now with the SSD is the bottom right hand corner. I'm gonna fast travel to a safe house and then fast travel to a White House. So technically loading the game twice before it even gets close to loading the game once with the regular hard drive. So in the bottom right hand corner, we already made it to the safe house and now we're gonna fast travel to the White House. So just look how fast is it. We're about to beat them to the White House and we just fast traveled to one location, which so we loaded the game. We made it to a location, we loaded the game again. And just to prove a point, I'm gonna fast travel one more time. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna reload another game. And the game still hasn't even loaded on the regular hard drive that comes on the PS4 Pro. So the SSD fast traveled to two locations, loading the map, three times while the regular hard drive is just loading the map once. But how easy is it to install this solid state drive? Well, watch this. So you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need a SSD, and you can get this in 250 gigabytes, 500 gigabytes, or one terabyte. I recommend this Samsung, and then you need yourself a nice USB drive. You can buy these for $5 for the 32 gig. You only need about 1.1 gigs on the USB. So if you have one laying around that's like five gigs, that is perfectly fine. And then of course, you need your PS4. So the PS4 installation is pretty simple. You just need to take off this tab right here. So all you have to do is pull down and pull away. So pull down and away and it pops right out. So the first step, not too hard, right? All of you guys can follow that. Now step two is we need to remove the hard drive that's in the PS4 Pro. But we have one screw that we need to take out. Guys, be careful with this. Make sure you guys use the right type of screwdriver to take off this screw because the worst thing you can do is strip the screw and then not be able to take it out, right? So just make sure you guys use the right type of screwdriver to unscrew it. It comes out pretty simple. It's not really screwed in there really tight. So it shouldn't be that hard to take out. Now, once you get the screw out, put the screw somewhere safe because you don't wanna lose this. Now the hard drive will pop straight out. Pretty simple, just pull it right out and then now we have the hard drive outside of the PlayStation 4. Put the PlayStation 4 to the side, and then now we can focus on the hard drive itself. Now the hard drive that's in the PS4 Pro has four screws holding the drive on there, so you need to unscrew all four of these to get the hard drive out, and then that way we can replace it with our SSD. One thing you guys should keep an eye out for are the little rubber washers that are connected to the casing that surrounds the SSD or the hard drive that's currently in there. And you wanna make sure that those washers stay in there. So you're just gonna pull off the screws. Now these screws are really small, so put these aside and make sure you don't lose them because if you lose them, you're gonna be out of luck. 
So you have four of these, unscrew all four. And then once you finish unscrewing all four, I would recommend just leaving it right there and then grab your SS. Now I do have a link to this SSD, the current one I purchased. The link will link you to Amazon. And the one I got was around 129 on Amazon. And I think if you go with the 500 gigabyte one, it's like 69. If you go with the 250, I'm not 100%. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the new SSD, but we need to get rid of the old one, right? I would recommend keeping this one right here. So keeping this hard drive, you can get a casing for it and then use it. Like mine's one terabyte, so I can use this as an external hard drive. I just have to reformat it and then use it as external hard drive. But now that we got this hard drive out of the way, we get our SSD and then we get the casing that the old hard drive was connected to. So make sure you just have it lined up just like this. The same way I have it positioned is how you wanna have it. Make sure you guys don't over tighten these. You never wanna over tighten these electronics. So just um, hand screw them in initially and then use your screwdriver to tighten them just slightly. Now, once you have them all four tightened and ready to go, all we have to do is reinstall this into the PS4 Pro. Reinstalling it is just as easy as it was taking it out. So just pop it right back in. You should hear a little click. So it clicked in and then now we just have to screw it in. Remember to not over tighten these. I never over tighten any of my electronics. So just screw it in. Once you get that nice little snug fit, you're good to go. And then all we have to do is pop the cover right on. So now that we have the cover on, this is where the USB comes into play. So make sure you guys clean up your area and then grab your USB and then let's head to the next step. So you're gonna wanna head to the PlayStation official website and I'll put a link to it in the description box so you can follow that link. But there's one thing you guys need to make sure you guys do. When you guys do download this, make sure you guys click on the reinstall, not this update. If you put this update one on your USB, it's not going to work and you're gonna have issues. You wanna get this reinstall the PS4 system. So click on that first and then you click on download. Now once you download this, you need to make two folders in your USB drive. So open up a USB drive, hit new folder, and then right here you wanna type in PS4. So that's what you wanna type in right here, PS4. Now as soon as you finish this, you wanna open this up, you wanna create a new folder, and then you wanna type in update. So the first one says PS4, the second one says update. And this is where you wanna install that file you just downloaded. So whether you copy it over or you download it straight to the USB drive, this is what you'll see, ps4 update.pup. That's what it should say. So you should have one that says PS4, then a folder that says update, and then this file name should be in the update folder on your USB drive. And that's it. That's all you have to do. You can take this off, and now all we have to do is install it on our PS4. So you're gonna plug a USB right in the back or in the front, wherever you can fit it, and then you need to turn your PlayStation on in safe mode. To do that, you have to hold the button down for a total of five to seven seconds. Once you hear that second beep, you know it's on safe mode, and all you have to do is follow the on-screen instructions, and it's that simple. Your SSD will be installed. Now remember, if you do wanna transfer any of your saved data, there are a couple of ways to do that. I'll let you guys look that up, but just know you can transfer over your save files for other games, like those single player games that you don't wanna start all over. You don't have to worry about that. You are able to transfer those over, but I think this is probably the best investment I've made for myself for the PlayStation 4 Pro. And if you guys have any, any console and you're running a regular hard drive and not an SSD, I would recommend switching out your hard drive for a solid state drive. The Samsung one works amazing and I've seen some really good reviews on it. I did my research and it was worth the money. I know it seems like a little bit expensive, but the amount of time you spend loading games, whether it's Call of Duty, Red Dead Redemption, The Division, Anthem, all those games that have long load times it cuts it down immediately just by changing out the hard drive. I'm able to record more, I'm able to play more, I don't have to worry about loading as long and wasting valuable time just sitting there loading. Let me know what you guys think about this hard drive. Are you guys thinking about upgrading? If you have any questions, use the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel, first time watching a video, hit the subscribe button, turn notification bell on, so when I release a video, you guys get notified. As always, thank you, but until the next video, nothing but skills out.